Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's try this one. And uh, previously we did this, this one, and this, and actually uh, they 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 are very similar. So you can see uh, the same a hexagon pattern with void in the middle. So let's open. So this is the one we did uh, previously. Um, we can we can use this one. So but for for uh, first, let me just. Instead of use uh, this uh, spline, I'm going to use uh, just a, a straight line, so make it easier, so faster, um, and also maybe reduce the number of that of uh, those uh, the family as well. So maybe I'll just try and change this one to five, and also uh, reduce the length, rough, just just make it more. Uh, um, Oh, yeah, let me find it. So hexagon, yeah. So yeah, okay. So this is it. Ah, oh, so that's not many. So that's good. And uh, um, actually, uh, maybe we should just add a little bit more. Let's type ten tw uh, times twenty. And okay, so I think this is better. So now we're going to just adjust this one to to match this pattern. Okay. So so first. Uh, the offset. So if I change the offset to zero, so um, which is here, and this will give us a flat surface. Okay, it looks like this will also um, create some issue with the void. So that's fine. So we can go edit this. Okay, so let's have a look because we, the, the shape of the void, we, we, we're going to change the shape of the void. So that's fine. So let's instead of use this arc, oh, sorry, no arc uh, uh, curve, we're going to, oh, sorry, not delete. So if you delete it, it will delete everything. So instead, use dissolve. So this will keep the points. Okay, so now what we need to do is just select the point, create a spline. So select two points. And create a spline, so to make it a straight line. So if you select three points, we'll create a, 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 a curve. So now we have four, and then make them reference line. And then, so one more thing. Uh, let me just have a look again. So, so you can see the in this one. So we probably instead of use instead of use. Um, Oh, hang on. instead of use a different so you can see this one so that's a normalized curve parameter so this is this one's linked to uh, ncp2 this one's linked to ncp1 ncp1 <laughs> yes and instead of that we need to keep the same keep the same i think we need to keep the same parameter so let's try that so if that doesn't work we might need to change the change this as well change the type of measurement as well but for now i'm going to just change all of them to ncp so now it will tr i think it also depending on the length of this line and this line so it will have different you can see it's not uh, exactly parallel so but for now let's just uh, leave it and then we're going to select these reference lines to create a void and this void i just need to make sure it cut the the sur uh, the, the, the surface so uh, both so on both we need to just make sure so just top uh give it a depth on both sides so positive and negative so to make sure it cut through so Okay, so now this is it, and load this into this um, mass, and then you can see it's quite nice, right? And then uh, to control it, um, so let me just try to tab select one of them. So you will be able to uh, same here NCP zero point one. I think. Uh, we will have that same issue uh, as uh, last time because if you change one, you change all, right? So um, I will just quickly, <laughs> let's quickly just uh, uh, do it again. So first, so let's just go back. So this is a family one and we just need to go find family one. So we already have this open here. 
So we just need to uncheck this one and also uh, change. We don't need NCP2 anymore, just delete it. And NCP, just edit to make it an instance parameter. And OK, and OK, and OK. So now we are going to load this one in here, but um, we will need to load it load this one into this hexagon pattern based family first so let's just edit this family and also i want to uncheck this one as well so now load this one into this one first but we just need to re uh, rename it because we can't overwrite it so this is family one uh, just rename it family one a okay and then we load this one into that pattern based family and then we, in this pattern based family, we can just go uh, select one of them, SA, select all, change it to fam the other one. Okay, so now we have this one, it's non shared family, so you don't need this uh, shared family. And then in this uh, non shared family, let's select it, SA, and we can just um, create a parameter. So use a, maybe let's call it, uh, what do we call it? Uh, normalized uh, uh, parameter curve parameter NCP. Okay, so let's call it NCP instance and OK and OK. And then we need to load this one into here again. So once again, so what? Let's just check the name of this one, family five. So this is the curtain panel pattern base on the curtain panel family type. I'll just re rename it quarter uh, five A. And go back to that pattern based family load into that um, mass and then we can select we can select this whole thing and change this one to the new so which is this one so okay so now we don't need this uh, anymore so let's just delete it so now we have this one and we have option to select this one pattern based family so we can uh, adjust this uh, individually so if I type 0 0.1 it will change it only change this one okay so now next step let me control Z okay so the next step is if you look at this one so from the very lowest part of this one so it's a very thin uh, frame and to the top it's basically it's more it's thicker so um, what we can do is we can use dynamo okay so uh, what Dynamo do is basically the lowest part. It will change the this one to um, very thin. So for example, zero zero uh, zero point zero point zero five. So something like that. So very thin. Okay, and then when it go up, it become a little bit thicker. So zero point one, and then this one become zero point two. This one become zero point four. Uh, no, 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 too much. Zero point three. And 0 0.4 something like that okay so um, I'm not going to show you how to use Dynamo because we did this uh, um, I think we did this quite uh, many times so if you can just do a search Dynamo and you should be able to find a similar very similar uh, video about that but um, today I'm going to show you this part. So you can see some of these panels. This not it's not cutting. It's not having a, a a a void. So how can we do that? Okay. So let's do this. Go to one of this family, a pattern based family. So go to edit, and then okay. So it looks like we need to go into this one. So go again, and what we need to do is we need to add a a parameter to so to this one so I think um, I'm not sure which version so uh, this is relatively new so it controls whether this void is cutting this uh, solid or not okay so previously how we do it we use offset so we move it away and we we'll move it back to cut but now I think we can use this one so let's just create a parameter so let's I'll just call it cut. Okay, cut. Uh, okay, cut. And uh, maybe instance and OK and OK. And OK, so load this one into 
the pattern based family okay overwrite okay so now because we so if you look at this pattern so it's not a uh, three of them in the hexagon so it's only one so uh and maybe here it's two it might be three here but so we need to control them individually so so in this pattern based family so select this one so you can see that's here so if i uncheck uncut okay so same uncheck uncut so what we need to do is we need to create three different i'll just call it cut one cut one okay instance and okay and okay so this one we can call, we just call it cut two and instance and okay and okay and this one create a, a new cut three so three different instance parameter to control the the void so now let's load this into that uh, mass device surface and then we will be able to control them oh this is quite nice <laughs> anyway so select the panel select all the panel is a so now we have all these cut one cut three cut cut one cut two cut three so if i check all the box you will cut all these right and if i change uh for example i some of them i just tap select and then you can control by just you know uncut one of them and you can do uh just to select multiple and yeah you if you have time you don't even need dynamo to do that do this so you can just pick one random one just to uh, adjust whether or not have that and then uh, the same um, you can you, I think you can use ma match to match the size okay so if you don't want to use dynamo it's totally fine you can just spend some time to adjust the parameter so you can use ma it's very easy and then you can just uh, uncut some of the the, the the void and like this okay so and um and this is it so it's quite um quite straightforward right uh um yeah if sorry about the background noise um <laughs> Uh, if you if you have any questions please please let me know i i will upload this one for you so you can have a play thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye